Hey guys, if you ever wanted to try out one of these sea scooters, they're seriously a lot of fun. They're a blast to have in the pool and in the lake. If the answer is yes, stick around and watch my video. All right guys, I'm gonna open it up and let you take a little look inside. To do so, we have these clips here and there's a, a recess on this. You just push this because it rides on this channel all the way up and then it comes right out. There's one on the other side. It's to come this way, up and out. Take the nose cone off. And this is your ballast chamber, which if you're scuba diving, you'll want to put weight in here. Otherwise it keeps floating up to the surface, which is great if you're snorkeling. Um, then inside, we have an airtight chamber where the battery is. You don't want water in the battery, that um, those two don't go together. Now there's supposed to be a, an air pump that helps facilitate removal of the top of the battery compartment, but mine didn't come with one, so I just basically push it up with my thumbs. It's not tough. Now, uh, important part, the top of the battery compartment has two recesses here and two hard corners. This is where you would line it up with the top of the battery. See the top of the battery. So this is not the original battery. This is the original battery. These leads were soldered right in place, okay, to the other end of the, the plug. I had to snip them. And then I just crimped on a couple of these quick clips for the new battery. I did that to test it. I wanted to see if it was going to work, and it did. Keep watching the video, you'll see it at the end. Um, and so I will solder them later. The way it used to come apart is with this Molex plug. Again, these were connected, right? They were hardwired, they were soldered together. When you go to charge it, you've got a charger with a corresponding plug. Plug it in the wall, charge it, the light blinks. Now I'm gonna put it together for you guys. Again, if you're scuba diving, you're gonna to wanna to put maybe a two pound weight in here. I put a one pound in here, kept wanting to float to the surface still. Next time I'll try two. Um, now the top, you'll see these two O-rings, these silicone O-rings. Those are pretty important to keep clean. And the way you remove them, you just kind of push them together, roll this thing off, get yourself a lint-free cloth, wipe it down, get some uh, lubricant, some silicone, put it on there. You might want to do this more often if you're in a saltwater environment, or if there's a lot of sand at the beach that you frequent. Okay, now line up the leads, red to red, black to black. Line up the Molex plug. Again, you're going to want the leads to correspond with the slots in the top, okay? Push it down firmly. Screw that down because you don't want water in that chamber. Put your ballast compartment in. I don't have any weights for it right now, but I will the next time I use it. Top on. And then put this in place. The next one in place. There's a left and a right, so keep an eye on that. And that's it. Test your machine. Perfect. Let's take it in the water.
How's it work? Triggers? Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you found it informative. I'm going to leave some information in the show notes down below. Uh, there'll be some affiliate links and so forth if you want to look into this a little bit more. Uh, it's a fun little machine. It's a great toy, good for the pool, good for simple use out in the open water, snorkeling and so forth. And it is uh, capable of, of towing a diver. Don't expect to set any uh, land speed records or, or ocean speed records or whatever. I'm going to leave you a link actually up here. There'll be a card uh, to my buddy's channel, Mark, over there on the West Coast, Mock Pot. If you've uh, seen his channel, great. If not, check that out. He's got a real dive propulsion machine, and um, looks like he has a lot of fun with it. Uses it all the time. There's a lot of videos on his channel about that stuff. So uh, with that, guys, thanks uh, for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, dive safe. Mm -hmm.